Hi there! This quick tip will cover making brushes with multiple brush tips in Clip Studio Paint. I drew these three insects and I've already registered the images as brush tips. If you're not sure how to do that, check out my custom brush tips video, link up above and in the description. It's always best to copy a brush with similar settings, so I'm going to go to the Decoration tool, choose the Clothing tab, and pick the button brush that comes with the program. It's already set up to stamp the image with a gap in between each one, exactly what I want. Next, I'll click Create Copy of Currently Selected Subtool. I'll give my Bug Stamp brush a name and choose an appropriate icon. My new brush is created in the Clothing tab, but you can click and drag it to move it to another tool, up here to create its own folder, or over an existing folder to place it there. I'll put it with my other example brushes. With the brush selected, click the wrench icon to open the Subtool Detail palette. Click Brush Tip. First, I'll select the button Brush Tip, and delete it by clicking the trash can. Confirm the deletion. Then I'll click Add Brush Tip Shape, and add my first custom brush tip. I'll repeat this two more times. Now you can see that the brush cycles through all three of them in order as I paint a line. For some variety, I'll click this button next to Angle and select Random. To change the order, click on Stroke. Here, you can adjust the Repeat method. Repeat goes through them in order. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Reverse goes in that order, then backward. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 3. Do Not Repeat goes through them once in order, but then just continues to use the last one from then on. Random, you guessed it, randomizes them. One Time Only just goes through them once in order, and then stops completely. One Random Cycle does the same, but the order is randomized. Incidentally, the gap setting at the top is what makes them appear one by one. You can adjust the length of the gap with this slider. And that's it for this one. Don't forget to subscribe for more Clip Studio quick tips and tutorials. Let me know if there's something you'd like to see me cover, and bye for now.